I'm Adam, I'm the nuclear medicine technologist here at Madison Memorial Hospital, and we're gonna take a few minutes and show you how we do a nuclear cardiac stress test. My name is Christopher Lloyd. I'm an OBOR tech on the mother baby unit, and I'm gonna be the patient. Before you come, um, we'll have you fast from midnight the night before, just so that we don't have a whole lot of intestinal activity to pick up the radioactivity that we'll put in your, in your IV after we get it started. Um, we'll have you hold your cardiac medications that you would normally take in the morning so that we can get your heart rate to the beats per minute that we want it so the, those medications aren't interfering with that. We'd like you to have comfortable clothes that you can uh, walk on the treadmill in, good shoes if you're walking on the treadmill so that you're comfortable while you do that. We would advise you to leave any valuables at home so that we don't lose them. That happens sometimes at the hospital. We'll have you have a seat right here for me. Okay. And we're just gonna start a little IV on you. So let me get my hands clean here. All right. I need a good vein. Where does a good vein live? Um, they say this is a pretty good one I got. All right, bring that right up here. And I'm just gonna start a little IV. Perfect. We're gonna inject the radioactive stuff. Uh, this that's not gonna hurt, right? Nope. This part doesn't hurt a bit. You might taste something a little bit funny, but other than that, there, you don't see any side effects. Now we'll wait about 45 minutes. We've done the resting injection. We'll wait 45 minutes for that to work its way into the heart muscle okay. to see the blood flow to the heart muscle. Then we'll put you on the camera for about eight minutes. Alrighty, let's do it. We'll have you lay down, feet down there, head right here. Okay. We're gonna get you in and under the camera. It's gonna go around you, then it'll go back around and take our pictures. It doesn't hurt or nothing, right? Nope. Nope, your job is just lay there and breathe normal. Okay. Okay. I am gonna put a couple little patches on you. Okay. Just to capture your heart rate. One up on your chest, one on each side of your ribs, okay? Okay, cool. And it'll take just a second for it to get up and in. Once we get you in, it's about seven and a half minutes is all this, this scan is. Okay. All right, you doing okay right there? Yeah. Okay, off we go. Okay, All right, let's see. So I'm coming to the treadmill? Yeah, so, okay. so at this point, you can just have a seat here like this. Okay. <clears throat> and so at this point, what we do is we go ahead and, and hook up the EKG portion for the stress test. That's so that we can monitor the, the heart rate and the rhythm. Because we do want to stress the heart just a little bit and, and see how they do. The easiest way to do that is to use the treadmill, which we have there. And so we'll put the, the EKG and the leads on and, and so that we can monitor them as they walk on the treadmill. We want to get their heart rate up a little bit just to see how it handles that stress. And it's based off their age, how, how high we get that up there. Usually it's about five to 10 minutes that, that they'll walk on the treadmill. And then once we're done with that, we'll come back over to the bed, watch them a little bit more, and then we hand them back over to, 
to radiology to finish the test. If you can't do the treadmill for any reason, if you've got you know a heart condition that doesn't allow or hips or knees or ankles or feet that don't allow you to get on the treadmill, then we can use a chemical that, that gets the heart rate up and stresses the heart. It opens up all the arteries and veins. Uh, it's a good procedure. There are a few side effects that can happen. They are normal side effects, uh, such as you can feel your heart rate going up. It might be a little more difficult to breathe because your body thinks you're exercising. Um, all of your arteries and your veins and your whole body are opened up and so you might feel flushed, maybe a little bit of a headache or some abdominal discomfort. As far as hooking them up, what we'll do is, is uh, we'll go ahead and have them take their shirt off if they're a male. If they're a female, we usually have a gown on them. Your hands on there, a little bit of support, and and then we'll go ahead and start it here. I'll go ahead and, and fire it up and just kind of walk with it. You'll feel it going up just a little bit, and you kind of see how fast it is and how high it is. It starts out pretty slow, 1.7 miles an hour, so it's not super fast. And it stays like that for three minutes and then it gets a little bit faster and a little bit higher. But on, on the monitor, it'll show us all the rhythm and the and the how fast your heartbeat is and all that. Once that gets up to a target heart rate, then we'll go ahead and, and slow it down. Let you do a little cool down on there. We'll watch you for a few minutes. But also once it gets to that target heart rate, Adam will will inject his isotope there as well. Okay, just like the first one, we just, yep, just hold that right there. You can even rest your hand right on the handlebar. We do that injection. And once we're injected, we'll have you exercise about one more minute. And then Will will put that into a cool down mode. Yeah, and we'll just put this in a cool down mode. It kind of goes flat and slow. Let you do that for about a minute to kind of catch your breath. And then we just, we'll, we'll go ahead and, and stop the belt and, and I'll go ahead and stop that and let it kind of start it stops all at once. Okay. And then, <laughs> and then we just have you come back over to the bed and you can lay down and, and we watch you for about another five minutes and then at that point, I, I'm done. You're done in this room. I can go ahead and take everything off. And then it's back out to, to Adam to finish the test, the rest of the procedure. Okay. Okay, so after the stress, we wait about 30 minutes and then we bring the patient back in and put them on the camera for the stress images. It's about six minutes of imaging, just like the first set, uh, laying on the bed and the camera going around you. After we're all finished, uh, we take your IV out and we'll walk you out to the front door. Uh, you can eat and drink as normal, unless your doctor has any restrictions that I don't know about. Um, you can take any medications that you may have held. And uh, the cardiologists from Idaho Heart are the ones that read these exams. Usually within 24 to 48 hours, your doctor will get those results and you'll get those results from your physician.